Welcome to this week's episode of Karen's Bookshelf. My name is Karen Osman, your host today for everything all about books. Now, if you've been a regular watcher of the show, you'll know that we have interviewed some incredible authors on Karen's Bookshelf. Everyone from Claire McIntosh to Cassandra Clare, Holly Black, Ian Rankin, Charles Cumming. And I should say at this point, a special thanks to Emirates Festival of Literature for helping us arrange those interviews. They were, really were incredible. However, today I thought I would share a little bit about my own author journey, especially since my book, my third novel, The Perfect Lie, published last month. Now, I've had some amazing support from book bloggers, friends, family, and lots of people buying the book, which has been brilliant. I've also had a lot of questions about the book, so I thought I would share a little bit about it here with you today. Well, for those of you who have read my previous books, The Good Mother and The Home, you'll know that I write psychological thrillers, and The Perfect Lie stays within that genre so it's a page turner. It's about a woman called Claire Carmichael who seems to have the perfect life. She is married, uh, she has two beautiful sons, she has a respected career, however a scandal lays buried in her past and from there it starts to get really exciting. It actually switches between uh, two time frames. So we see Claire in present day but we also go back to the 1980s, one of my favourite decades, when she was a teenager at school. So I do hope that gives a little bit of an idea of what The Perfect Lie is about. Many authors get asked the question, why did you write this book? And for me, I really wanted to explore what makes perfectly ordinary people do bad things. And this is a theme, not just in this book, but my other two books as well, The Home and The Good Mother. The Perfect Lie took me um, six months to write and I probably spent two or three months after that editing it and perfecting it before I sent it to my agent and um, my publisher. So if you like um, fiction by authors such as Lisa Jewell and Paula Hawkins then The Perfect Lie might just be for you. Um, it's available uh, on uh, Amazon, on Google, Apple Play, um, and if you like audio, then the narrator is Imogen Church, and she's a fantastic narrator who really, really does bring this book to life. Um, I am delighted to be able to tell you that I have one signed copy to give away. So if you'd like a chance to win a signed copy of The Perfect Lie, then please head to my Instagram or Facebook page to enter. Now, I just want to wrap up by saying, um, because this is another really popular question that I get asked, is how did you become an author? What was the process for you? But I actually um, became an author through a writing competition, uh, which I won in 2016. Now, that competition is called the Monte Grappa Emirates um, Airline Festival of Literature Novel Writing Competition. And as the winner of that, I was lucky enough to catch the eye of of um, my agent who then managed to sell my uh, winning entry as part of a three book deal. Now I know many of you watching today simply love reading but if you feel that you have a book inside of you that same competition for 2019 is currently open to entries. So if you feel that you would like to um, write a book then this is a great opportunity to have your work reviewed by a literary agent. All you have to do is go to the Emirates Airline Festival of Literature um, website and you'll see uh, competitions and you'll see the Montegrappa competition there. I believe um, entries are available until the 21st of November. So if that's uh, something you'd be interested in, I wish you the best of luck.